Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay. So I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see. What's going on for you? Okay, so once I feel like somebody could be thinking about you for an opportunity. There is something here about you standing out to other people. There could be somebody who's like, yeah, you know, yes, yeah. This is interesting because you have the emperor here and you have this you know temperance is your card so it's like okay if somebody sees there's an opportunity immense opportunity in you here you know there's somebody looking here and they're seeing an opportunity now you have the lovers now you have the empress so this is a beautiful story here that we have unfolding here there's a person here that sees an opportunity here with you they have a lot of passion here. For a lot of you, I'm seeing that this is a work opportunity, but could it lead to love? Yeah, of course it could. Of course. And there's a lot of different people in between you and this person. For whatever reason, there's a lot of different people involved. This opportunity, there's a lot of people involved. That doesn't mean that you're not going to get it, though. You know, look at this seven of swords. Yeah, there's people in between this. There's something coming in between this, trying to come in between this. Yeah, that's that's happening. That's a thing. But um, you know, you have the Queen of Pentacles and you have the world card here. So it's like, you know, no no matter what happens, you're ready for something here in your life. And if something is gonna happen for you. It's because it's meant for you. And you understand that what's meant for you, nobody else can take it. You know, the universe doesn't have something for you and somebody else gets to manipulate things and steal this opportunity from you. No, that's not how it works. If something is written, in, you know, in your name and the stars here, then it's going to happen. And you're recognizing this and you're recognizing that energy that people waste on worrying on all of this kind of thing attacking one another fighting one another competing all of the no, 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 no. it's like pulling away from this the three of wands is like hey i don't need to be in this race here i already know that i won i'm gonna win with the star card here you already know this so there is nothing that anyone can do to hinder you from getting this opportunity here you have the chariot card so this is why you're uh having this success at this time because you're investing in yourself and you're knowing that the right thing is going to come along when it's supposed to come along for you here so i would pay attention to different kind of opportunities here because there is a different kind of an opportunity here. And it may be different than what you're used to. This person could be different from your usual type. This situation is just different from what it is that you're used to. Yeah, there is something here that you represent that people want you to represent them or something. Look at the star. There is something here where it's like people trust you and they see you as a person that can handle different things and they see you as a person who doesn't become flustered easily see you as a person who is reliable and this is what this person is being drawn to you because you move differently than everybody else Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person could have to do with the Aries or a Taurus. Yeah, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Um, 
there's something here where it's like you didn't envision this kind of an opportunity coming to you. You envisioned your life going a particular way. And this opportunity would take it in a different direction. There's something that would change here. And there is something here about this five of wands keeps coming out. There's some kind of conflict here. Other people don't want you to take this opportunity because other people want you to be available for them. And taking this opportunity might include moving. It will include you doing different things in your day to day. It will include a change in your schedule. It will include a change in your lifestyle. And other people, you know, they don't want this for you for whatever reason. Maybe because there's some people that are fearful of things. They're fearful of what this is going to expose you to. They're fearful of... You know, is this going to be good for you in your life here? There's something here where it's like everybody seems to have opinion about what it is you're going to be doing. And it's like, look at the sun card here. Queen of Pentacles again. You know, there, there's some sort of sway that you're standing out in your career and it's going to be improving. It's like you're getting something that nobody else, that everybody is wanting or something. And it's like you didn't even, did you even apply for this? Wow, this could keep going. Look at it. The, the Ace of Swords, the Star, the Lovers again, the Fool. Now we have the Three of Pentacles. It keeps going. There's something here that you have an opportunity here to climb up a different ladder. And you didn't know that was a ladder that was going on. This could be another company is coming in and wants you to collaborate with them, wants you to work with them, wants you to run something. But you're going to have to be doing different things. And you're like, oh, do I have the skill set to do that? Do I have this to do this? Do I have that to do this? This is a different adventure here. And you may have to change accreditations that you have. You may have to put in more work, but it's like, is the payout more? You know? You have the Six of Swords here. There is a change here. Let's see the Emperor. King of Pentacles. We keep getting the Queen of Pentacles. Now we have the King. So. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's some sort of stability that people want you to provide somewhere else. It's like, how things are being done, they want you to change the way that things are being done to a different way. There's something here that people want you to implement. There's something here where people see what it is that you have to offer, and they appreciate that. They want to be around that. Feels like you have been unappreciated for what you've been doing for a long, long time. And you didn't think something was going to come along here. And, you know, you have this devil and you have the, the two of swords here. So there is a fear here in going forth with this. You don't want to mess things up because it's like things are okay right now. You know, are things great? I don't know. But they're definitely not, you know... There is something here with this Queen of Pentacles about should you take this offer and kind of not believing that this offer is a real offer for you. But it is. Someone sees you as very nurturing. Someone sees you as very understanding. Someone sees you as very kind. Someone sees you as very creative. They appreciate your creative energy because we have the emperor, the empress, and now we have the king and queen of pentacles with this knight of cups. There could be somebody here that has kids and they see you and they want to be with you. <laughs> They're single. I don't know what that's about. It doesn't have to be, but you know, you have justice here. You have the hierophant here. There is somebody here that wants to move a relationship forward here. They want to make something official. You know, whenever justice comes out with the Hierophant, this is marriage. Somebody wants marriage. They want something to be legal for the two of you to be together. 
there's like a way that they want to move this along. You know, this person is like, hey, this is what I want for my forever. I'm sure now. So there's something here that's going to be made more official. Could be, you know, people that don't want this. There's people that want to downplay this. And it's like, well, when it was them, it wasn't being downplayed. <coughs> but when they find out that it's you getting this offer, now all of a sudden, no, they don't like this. It's like giving me an energy right now. If somebody thought it was them that was going to be chosen for something, and it's not, it's you. And this person is not very happy about this. <laughs> Let's see. You have the Nine of Swords and then you have Judgment. This is the energy of, no, this can't be for me. For me? You mean me? You're picking me? Yeah. We're picking you. You know, this is giving me undercover boss vibes. And you don't even know. You have no idea. Nope. This is for you. You're, you're receiving this here. <laughs> this is energy of just when you're about to lose it all. Just when you think there's no hope, all hope is lost. Nope, that's not the case. Something comes through, you know, and you have the Empress here. So this is something that's, you know, changing in a big way. Let's see the lovers. High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands in the Sun, wow. This is a person that's kind of already thought of everything. They already thought everything out. Everything that you're going to need. Everything that's like your life. It's like, yeah, if you have kids, they love your kids too. <laughs> you know, if you have nine cats, well, then, you know, they want to build them a freaking cat house. I don't know. It's like this person has thought about this. They thought about what it is that they're wanting here. There is something here that is open to you now that you didn't think was going to be open to you. But it is. And it feels like too good to be true. And there's a person here that with love, they still want to honor your independence. They want to honor your freedom. They want to honor the way that you shine. They want to honor what you think about everything. So this is not a person that's going to make all of these decisions. This is a person that it's like, yeah, they are in a way they're putting you up on a pedestal. But at the same time, they're like, this is a person that's like spoiling you. But it's like they're seeing that you're the one that's creating this abundance for yourself and they're respecting that. You know? This is energy of like, this is made in Manhattan energy. This is made in Manhattan energy. Uh-huh. And he, you know, she's living differently. And it's like me have an opportunity to live like this. And he's like, uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? You're amazing. And he wants her input on things is the thing. It's not just she's beautiful. He loves her personality. You know, there is a soul connection there. And she is educating him and has opinions about how things should be run. And her ideas are right. And he's listening to them and he's implementing them and they're creating change. So this is like somebody who sees you as like a active partner 
for work as well. Or it's like, this could be somebody that you end up meeting through work or something. Or what's the point of pentacles? Page of Pentacles. It's something very little that turns into something big. You know, she's just trying on some lady's dress. Big deal. You know, what is her opportunity to have fun in this day? She's a maid in Manhattan. And it's like, hey, this lady's out. She said she wants to send everything to be dry cleaned or give it away to charity. I forgot what. So her friend's like, come on, let's try on her clothes. It's fun. And it's like... One little fun thing that you do and look what it ended up turning into. So this is really like you following your bliss. Just in a moment, a little opportunity that seems like nothing is not nothing. <laughs> not nothing. Let's see the world. You have the Eight of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords, you got the Three of Pentacles here. There's a point where you could be afraid that this opportunity is too good to be true. Because of past fears, because of the way things have gone before, because you think if people find out more details, they're not going to want you for something. This is an opportunity to apply for something. This is giving me this energy now of like somebody who applies for something and you're not really qualified for the job. They have these lists of qualifications. It's like, yeah, I don't have those. And it's not necessarily lying and saying that you have them when you don't, but it's just like you just apply. And they interview you and it's like, well, you're like, I don't know if I should go to the interview because they're, they, but they called you. <laughs> you didn't submit stuff. And even if you did say, yes, I have this stuff, and you get there and you say that you don't, you never know. It's like they may need you for something else where those qualifications are not needed. You know how many times they will end up paying people to get qualifications. There is something here about a work thing where it's like you don't feel like you're enough for some reason, so you want to walk away. But there is a little chance, a little something that's maybe a little mischievous. It's mischievous to apply for something you know you're not qualified for, but who cares? Guess what? You feel a pull, you just go for it. You know, it's mischievous for her to put on this other woman's clothes. But, uh, so what? I probably would have done the same thing. I definitely would do the same thing. <laughs> you know? It's like, hey, that changed your whole life. All these little moments, like what is life, but all these little moments added up. There is something here that may change something. This is the energy of like, you know, somebody submits your information for something and you win or so. You know, there is something here about just doing something because you just feel this pull to do something, you know, and it ends up working out. This could be something that you have to say that you don't like what's going on here. You have two of cups and you have the five of wands. There's something here that you don't like what's going on. It could have to do with work. And you're honest about how you feel about it. You're pulling away from it. You're focusing on your work. If it keeps coming up. It's like you're going to stand up and say something. And this is going to lead to something here. What's the three of wands and the star? You have the lovers, you have the tower, you have the eight of pentacles, and you have the chariot. What else is that? But you get a sudden opportunity with work that involves moving up, it involves movement, and it involves love. It allows new choices into your life. <laughs> yeah, that's what this means. That's what the whole reading means. So if you feel impulse to do anything, just do it. 
You know, this is energy of like, hey, you know, I want to submit my tape to somebody. I'm seeing. And, you know, you're late for the thing. Well, you know what? If you have a chance and you get to the office and you're not supposed to, but you just slip your tape under the desk, do it. <laughs> this is something where there is something little here that changes something. This is giving me, what's Anne-Marie, surf girl? Oh, they're in Hawaii and they surf and she's a surfer. And her friend is like, hey, she can, we, we do surf lessons. We'll teach you how to surf. I really, you know, they're maids at the hotel. And they end up, she ends up falling in love with this, uh, is he a golfer? I don't know. Something. But... And she doesn't want to, she doesn't think she's good enough to be in the pipeline. And her, her friend is like, come on, you're good enough. You know, talks her into it. What is that movie? High surf, surf's up. Surf girl. Break, man. She's a maid in that movie too. You have, the, you have the king cups here. Something magical is happening here. So just go with it. Don't fight it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's see about this. Yeah, that's what the chariot is. And in both decks, you end with the chariot. So what does this mean? This means go with it. They're leaving the city behind here. On, the, on this chariot card, they're leaving the city behind. What, what I know, I'm leaving it behind. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I feel this pull. I have to see this through. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe this doesn't make the most logical sense. But here I go. You know, that's the chariot. That's the chariot energy. And, you know, look what you got going on up here. We got all this, the stars in the night sky. This is like um, the moon card on this one. So this is, in this deck, it's, it's, this looks like the moon card. I don't think the moon card is out here. But um, the sky is the same. And so this person is daydreaming and they're daydreaming of a different life. And this represents, hey, I'm going for the daydream. That's what it represents in this deck. Could be a cancer person. Could be a fixed sign. So Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. Let's see what else. Something here where you're going to be celebrated. You have choices. And there is a way that you could be honored. You could be celebrated. You could receive some sort of reward. I'm seeing like a wreath. And they put a wreath around you. And you get a chance to be celebrated. Did I just talk about the moon or what? You have a lot of options. You have a lot of different ways that something could go. You could think about, you know, uh, what the divine wants. You could think about all of the ways it could go wrong. You could think of all the glorious ways it could go right. There's a lot of different ways here. And Spirit is saying, yeah, we know there's a lot of different ways. There's always a lot of different ways. Everything could go any way at any time. But, you know, you have that's why you have an intuition. So just go for it. And this is how you lead to success. This is what's happening for you. Oh, wow. That's really great. A whole new kind of life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be celebrated. Let's see about this person. Way too many cards. Fox is about your choices make you who you are. A lot of foxes get a bad rap. You know, in children's stories, hey, there's a lot of stories out there with foxes and they're not the great character, right? And there was a lot of story of foxes and they're adorable woodland creatures. You know, people are putting foxes on their walls nowadays. 
People have little fox figurines and it's a decoration. It's beautiful. You know, the fox stands out. It doesn't matter. Hey, if it's summer, spring, fall, winter, there's snow everywhere. They're bright red. Guess what? We see you. Uh, went, uh, summer, it's green everywhere. They're bright red. Guess what? We see you every season. So when they make their decision, it's going to be seen. So maybe there is something here that you don't know how it's going to go and you don't like that because you don't want to not know what is going to, what, how you're going to be seen. What's going to happen with this? Because it's like you're going to be celebrated for something. And I feel like you're a little bit like, I don't know if I want to be celebrated. Like, what is this about? And so the fox makes this decision. They can go and walk out because, you know, they're going to wait. They're going to observe their environment and then they're going to be moving forward. When it makes sense for them to do so. You know, because they're going to be seen. So they can't use, they can't camouflage, they can't hide, they can't, they have to use other things. So there is something here where you're like, I don't want to be seen. So this is what's holding you back. And Spirit's like, well, you're meant to be seen. You're meant to be celebrated here. So other things are being closed off. So it's like, you have to do this. That's like what, and you know, in Made in Manhattan, you know, everybody, all this press is on her. In the Surf Girl movie too. Pacific Sun, Hawaiian Sun. What is that movie? Surf, surf Time? <laughs> ah, it's driving me nuts. Practicality. Yeah, it's like you want to be practical. There was a point in the surf movie where she's like, you know what? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to surf today. I'm going to stay home and I'm going to clean my house. And I'm going to yell at my sister because she sneaks out of the house. I'm just, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. I'm not going to do this. And, you know, she goes back to practical work. I'm not going to even think about it anymore. It's over. Please. You know, J-Lo does the same thing in Made in Manhattan. She's like, you know what? We can't do this. I'm returning the clothes. I'm going to go back to my little apartment. I'm going to hang out with my mom. That's it. That's my life. And it's like her son is like, come on. No. <laughs> you know? There is something here that you see that other people don't see. There is something here that somebody sees in you that you don't see in yourself. That other people don't see in you. This is what the fox represents also. Yeah. Somebody sees something in you you don't see in yourself. You see something that other people don't see. So you have a way to voice things that other people need to hear it. And vice versa. Somebody sees you. And they see things about you and they need to tell you this because you don't know this about yourself. And this is, um, that needs to not be like that. You have idealism. So there is a way here that you're like, you know, this is the best that this can be. And that's that. And it's like, no, you need to think outside of that. You got to think of outside of how things have always been. There is something here about friendship. Her friend is talking her into putting this outfit on and made Manhattan that changes, ended up changing her whole life. Her friend in a uh, surf movie um, talks her into going to, there's something about your friends, the people around you pushing you, but in a good way, pushing you in a good way. You have generosity here. There's somebody here that wants to be very generous with you. So it's like, oh, you know, I was getting this in the beginning. It's like, okay, I want to manifest all of this stuff. Well, maybe you're manifesting somebody who they already have all that stuff and they want to share it with you. Well, you know what? Maybe you should just let them because you're a really great person and accept it. 
And it's like, well, I didn't want it to happen that way. I wanted it to happen this way. And this is how I was thinking this was going to go. And the universe is like, yeah, no, that's not how this works. It's like there's there's somebody here that is helping you realize, hey, you deserve this. You deserve this. So don't say no to something that somebody is offering you because somebody sees who you really are and you deserve this. So that's what this is saying. You have assertion. There's somebody here that's coming forward here, but they're, you know, they're not going to take it too far. There's only a point. So you don't want to miss this boat because this is your boat. You have Aries here, you have Capricorn here, you have Aquarius, Leo, and Cancer. Let's see, I have seen a little bit more about this. It's like her friends put her application in for something and she gets it. And she's like, why did you guys do that? No. It's like, no, take it. You know, there's something here about friendship, generosity, assertion. Come on. You need, when are you going to realize that you deserve this? You know, it's not too good to be true. Sometimes it's not too good to be true. Sometimes it's just you're that good. And you have been lying to yourself for a long time. And it's time for that to stop. You have kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. What? There's something here. Date. Both of them in these movies, they end up meeting somebody who wants to date them. And they're kind of resistant. And they're pretending like they're something else than what they're not. And then they don't think they're enough and they move away. This is, this is, is this your story? You need to do this. Date, meeting someone new, dating, get, getting back out there, plan, set a date. This is beautiful. Beautiful, Sag. Okay, so this is what I have for you. If this resonates and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, also, um, I have a TikTok. It's called Cecilia Rose Tarot, and I have a book. It's called One Lights. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description.